completely bonkers. I don't really know why. No, I do know why. I kind of got to the point where, you know, like you wait for the phone to ring. You like, what's next? What's yeah. the next job? And I was kind of like, oh, I, I want to know what I can do as a woman. I want to know what I can achieve if I set my mind to it. So it definitely mm. had to be something that I was interested in. You know, like once you become a mum, you read all the mum magazines and there's all these mum... Mum... Mumpreneurs. How do you say it? Is it mumpreneur? Mum, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, mumpreneurs. Yeah, mumpreneurs. Mumpreneur. Oh, God, I'm one of them. Yeah. <laughs> Sugar, that was really difficult to say. It's all along. Um, yeah, so mumpreneurs. And I just thought it fascinating, you know, that these women can kind of take an idea and run with it. And, and I just thought, I could do that. I'm going to see what I can do. So first of all, I started buying all these books on how to run your own business and Google was my friend. Yeah. Any questions I had, I kind of Googled. Um, and I spoke to lots of people. I spoke to the girls who run Style Runner, right. um, which are Australian chicks um, and just got a lot of advice. I decided it wanted, I wanted it to be to do with kids because I had kids. Um, both my kids had sensitive skin so I was kind of like okay well what's the connection there? My son right. was in bamboo sheets so I was like where are these clothes that are made out of this amazing fabric because it's right. set for sensitive skin. Cool in summer, warm in winter. I couldn't find any. I could find really like you know neutral jumpsuits or a little yeah, singlet. Yeah, 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 you're right. And I'm like, well, where's... You're not in this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> so true, so true. I know, darling, I know. This is my infomercial talk. <laughs> and then, I don't know, so the weird thing is I, I, I rang around for samples of this fabric. Right. And got sent like a whole bunch of stuff and was like, oh, it's a, like it really is amazing in like jerseys and knits and wo wovens. And all of a sudden I knew about GSMs and like weights of fabrics and things like that. I started coming up with a name. I got um, a logo drawn up. Um, like I just started researching how to, how to run a business. Do I trademark the logo? I've got to so trademark impressive. the business. Yeah. And then I fell in love with the Ethical Fashion Initiative, which is all about supporting women, supporting themselves. It's quite a long story, but... Um, in the end, I came up with Cheeky. Uh, I make cool, edgy, urban clothes for now not to seven-year-olds. It was only to four-year-olds. Um, so it's made out of this amazing fabric. Kids love to wear it, yeah. but it's 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 different. You know, it's a lot of well, it's monochromatic mostly, unisex, and it's just been a, a process of like how you do that, who manufactures it, where yeah. do, do you hire a designer. So and good, then, yeah. Though. It was kind I of. I love a that lot. though because it's you know you had no idea how to do it and you learnt it from yeah. scratch. But I'm a massive believer in that. Like, yeah. And why I, not? I just think you know. <laughs> so it sounds really weird, but I believe I could be a doctor. <laughs> not, I'm definitely not smart enough to be a doctor right now, but I 100% believe if I set my mind to it yeah. that I could do it, and it might I might not be a great one. <laughs> Yeah, but you'll do it. I just have this mindset that anyone can achieve anything yeah. if you set your mind to it. Some people can't afford some things and other people can. So some people it might be a longer route. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yes. But I still 100% believe that anything is possible yeah. if you choose it to be Yeah, I and commit yeah. to it yeah. and just go for it. I didn't know how to run a business. I didn't know anything about fabrication. I knew what I like to look at and styling yeah. and I like design and architecture. But now I'm kind of running a business which involves marketing and PR and logistics and a website. And I'm like, oh, now yeah. I know all these things that I yes. never knew before. Yeah, it's so, it gives me goosebumps. Yeah, it's quite it's, weird. It's, but it's awesome. Mm. It's so exciting. And it's such, I was saying my boys are in it and it's such beautiful stuff and I'm begging I've you to do. Your hair. Oh, that was my Virgo. Oh, Wait. Say it again. Um, <laughs> it's such beautiful stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted you to look perfect when you said it. <laughs> it's such beautiful stuff. And I want you to do adults. My no, little boy looks I so know. cool. They're like drop crotch. That's yeah. what you call them, right? Yeah. And my little and their little hat. Do you say hat. crotch or crotch? I say crotch. Yeah, same. Some people say crotch. Yeah. My best friend says crutch and it sounds really rude. Yeah, it, it sounds, sounds like you might as well say drop vagina. It sounds rude. I know. No, there's no drop vagina. Drop, no, <laughs> drop, drop crotch. Drop yeah. crotch. Um, and it's beautiful stuff. Anyway. Anyway. I'm really, <laughs> I'm thrilled with it. Thanks. But make adult stuff. Yeah, we might, I've been 
so yeah, a bit, my mind goes too fast. Like I've got so many ideas for it. I want yeah. to do um, a limited edition Mummy and Me range. Please so just do. like a, a knit or, a, a, you know, the drop crotch pant, but only maybe like, you know, a few hundred pieces and that's yeah, great. it. great. Good, do mm. it. Yeah, Mother's Day. Okay. Okay, that's Maybe. not far away. No. Oh, there you go. You just thought, yeah, Mother's Day. Here we go. Oh, gosh, I've got to get on to that. <laughs> it's Chinese New Year. Like, times are ticking. <laughs>